All right, hey everyone. So this video is gonna be on ST, the simple terminal or the suckless terminal, some people call it. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is I've been using this terminal recently because um, uh, my last video I did on URXVT, which I think, I forget the title of it. it was, I think it was just something like URXVT is the best terminal, uh, which rubbed some people the wrong way because a lot of people are like, you shouldn't be using URXVT. You should be using ST. URXT, URXVT is all bloat. It's a whole bunch of garbage. It's not minimalist enough. Um, so I've tried ST many times before, but this is the first time I think I actually got a configuration that I really like, or at least something that has all the features I need. Well, I should, I should give the, the preface, right? So ST is a suckless utility. Um, suckless is a sort of cabal of programmers who are interested in like... Uh, I guess efficiently written, non-bloated software. Um, that's actually a, a worthy of a video on itself, but uh, needless to say, ST for a lot of reasons is different from some of the programs uh, that you might be familiar with on my pro, uh, my channel or whatever. Um, that's just because most, you know, if we're talking about Ranger or Bash or most other terminals or something like that, um, they have independent config files that they read whenever you open them, and they you can change those config files, stuff like that. But the idea behind a lot of suckless uh, you know, programs is ultimately that's an inefficient way of doing it. What you really should be doing is patching the features or the traits that you want in a, uh, in a program actually into the source code. And that's what ST and a lot of other programs do. That may, may sound a little difficult, but it's, it's actually not. We'll talk about it in this video. Um, so I'll go ahead and say this is what my terminal looks like. Uh, I have it transparent right now. There are a bunch of little features built in, uh, but it's still one of the most, I mean, it definitely is the most lightweight terminal in the world, uh, or at least that I know of. It's less than 5,000 lines of code. Um, it still does everything out of the box, even without any configuration. It does a lot of things better than URXVT. Uh, it handles Unicode really well. It handles like, you know, Ranger previews or whatever. Uh, these are a lot more robust on ST. URXVT, sometimes you'll get like lines through them or something like that. Uh, but ST does a whole lot of stuff a whole lot better for that reason. Um, now, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get into the configuration. Now, I'll go, I'll, I actually have downloaded here the default build of ST. If you just go on Suckless and download it, um, this is what you're going to get. Uh, and of course, to install it, you just um, use typical, you actually compile it on your computer. So just type in make um, and then sudo make install. Um, I'm going to put in my password. And uh, by default, ST is going to come up. It's going to look like this. So it's going to be just a black window. Again, it already has the features of it can handle Unicode. It can do all the stuff that you expect a terminal to do. Um, well, actually, there are some things it doesn't do by default. Chief among which uh, is, uh, let's say I have uh, some program that outputs a whole lot of uh, stuff, like a whole bunch of uh, stuff onto the terminal. If I want to scroll back, ST doesn't actually have the ability to scroll back in its history by default. That's not actually built in. Um, you, that's something you actually have to patch in. Now, ST, there are a lot of these features. The idea behind the suckless programs is they're very featureless by default, and you just say, okay, I want this, I want this, I want this, and uh, you can install patches for it. Um, so uh, I actually have a build on Git. Oh yeah, shout out to this guy, Old Garrow, who did a little video just showcasing some stuff in ST um, that encouraged me to actually look into it. Um, so I actually have my build of ST with all the features that I, th I think are necessary or I think are worth having. Um, I actually forked it from this other guy who had added stuff like scroll back, uh, you know, solarized colors. Most of these patches will be on the Suckless website, but getting to them to work, especially when you have multiple ones at the same time, sometimes it's a little wonky or something like that. Um, so he had all these, uh, and I've added some other features. Anyway, I'll just show you what my, my, my new setup looks like. So let me go to my build. Um, now I'll go ahead and just build this the same way. So you can go to my GitHub and like just download these files in a folder and do exactly what I'm going to say now. Uh, so you can make... Uh, just compile it and sudo make install. Uh, and by default, it's going to actually have, let's go to another window. Um, so you're going to have this. So you can increase or decrease the size with alt shift page up, page, da page down. Um, now you'll notice, of course, it does have uh, uh, solarized colors. So let me open up a file. So here they are. Uh, you can actually, using my build, you can invert the color, not invert, but like make them a light mode by holding down alt and pressing tab. 
Um, I think the original binding is like F6, but I feel that that conflicts with a lot of stuff, so I switched it to this. Um, so yeah, Alt-Tab to toggle that. Um, also, if you have a whole bunch of output, uh, you can scroll back by holding down Shift and Page Up and Page Down. Um, I, of course, page up and page down for me, that's far too away. I want something more Vim-like, so if you use Alt, K, and J, you go up line by line. Uh, it's nice to move, be able to move gradually. Um, and if you want to move faster than that, but still want to be sort of on the home row, you can hold down uh, Alt, U, and Alt, D. Uh, sort of like in Vim, where you do Control, U, Control, D. Um, so those are some other things. Um, so this is the default build, and I also... Uh, because I like having transparency, uh, at least in, in what I have on this machine right now. So I actually put in another patch um, because they have they Suckless has a transparency diff by default that will patch in transparency, but it doesn't work really well if you have the solarized stuff installed at the same time. So I just made my own diff um, that you can use. So if you download to in actually install that, let me get so if you actually want to go about installing that, you just um, uh, well, first you gotta make clean, uh, make sure everything's nice. You just do patch, and, oops, yeah, patch, and then patches, uh, transparency is where my diff is. Uh, just run that, then you can make, uh, I should probably fix those errors, but they're not fatal. Uh, sudo make install, and there we go. Uh, so this is the terminal I actually use. Um, has transparency, has the scroll back, has everything that I need about it. And again, it has a bunch of the stuff that URXVT didn't have, um, like Unicode characters, it can handle Ranger and image previews and stuff a little better. Now there is one thing, actually this is gonna be the next video because this is worth its own video. There is one thing that URXVT, the configuration I had, uh, did better than ST, and that is link selection. So like if I, let's say I cat out some file with, um, uh, is that where my website is? Yeah, let's say I cut out some file with some links. Um, you know, how I can't actually click on any links here, so if I click on one of these, nothing's gonna happen. URXVT has this very nice thing that you can put in where you can select links, um, but ST doesn't have one uh, by default. There's a patch, but it's not very good. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about how I get across that. Uh, long story short, it's using URL view, uh, which is actually in a lot of ways better and more robust. Um, but anyway, so this is Suckless Terminal. I definitely recommend people looking into it. Um, I still like URXVT, but Suckless has some advantages. I've sort of moved just to ST at this point, though. I don't think I have URXVT installed. Um, so anyway, I hope you learned something, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. So have a good one.